Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Julie and I like to talk about handbags here on this channel. And if you're not new and you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and visiting. It's so great to have you again. Guys, today I went a little crazy and I picked up two Marc Jacobs bags. And <laughs> as you know, I love the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. I have a small, well, it's a growing collection of the size small Marc Jacob the tote bags. You guys, when they come out with all these new colors that are just like magically matching the rainbow and beyond, and then they have all these like different patterns. And also when they go on sale on the site that I grab them from, I have to get them. So I'm gonna link the site that I um, buy these bags from because they go on sale like 25, 30% off often. And a lot of times the tote bags don't go on sale. So I'm gonna link the site below. It's not affiliated at all. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into the reveal. I'm so excited to show you. I'm gonna do the smaller one first. I have two here. So <laughs> this, okay, I went um, shopping recently and I went into a Marc Jacobs store. And they had this color on the wall and I loved it. Okay, so it's called Forest and I got it in the size small. So this makes my fourth small Marc Jacobs the tote bag. And guys, I used to be like a rogue collector, but now I'm a Marc Jacobs the tote bag collector. This is the best for me, medium sized bag, like bar none. It's absolutely a top five style, possibly number one style in my collection. That's why I have four. Honestly, if I had one or two more, it's fine. I love these bags so much. The small size is my Goldilocks size by far. Um, this is so pretty. It's the color forest and again that super soft leather here's all sides of the bag of course we all know what this bag is like there's no feet on the bottom um so and then it's got the lighter lettering here and then on the inside this is fun first of all it's gold hardware so i really love that now i have two gold hardwares and two silver hardwares of my the tote bags and on the inside, I have a fashion file dust bag in there. The interior is this. It's so cool. It's honestly kind of like citronelle, which is another one of my bag colors that I have. But that contrast is so cool. I freaking dig it. There's the interior pocket. Um, this one. This one actually has the structured base to it. It's like the new modified one. The older ones don't have that little extra support piece in the bottom. So I don't have to get an in, like a base shaper for this, which is kind of good. I do like how it can be boxy. So whenever I do store my Marc Jacobs, the tote bags in the leather in this size, I do like to stuff them pretty completely full so that way they maintain their shape. This leather is so squishable and it can dent, it can like misshapen. So that's why I do like to stuff them and kind of keep them neatly formed. And especially these little top handles, um, just kind of keeping the shape and just like a perfect profile. I just, I love it. I think that this is like, an addicting bag for me to keep buying and buying. So, okay, this is the forest. And honestly, for me, this is like gonna be a year round color. I'm gonna wear it all year round. And I think it's gonna be perfect. You know what it reminds me of a lot is Louis Vuitton khaki almost. And I'm gonna show you, I have a Louis Vuitton SLG. I'm gonna show it with this bag. So. Let's get on to the second one that I did get. As it turns out, I'm using this beauty and I will show you this one is 
I wanted to have a medium one and I didn't want to get the leather in the medium. I wanted this because this jacquard fabric is gorgeous. It's, and it's very spectator. It's just so cool. I felt this at Nordstrom and I felt it in the black because they have this in black and a few other colors. They have it like in like a, this is called warm sand. And then they also have it like in a caramel brown color. And then I think they also have it in the green, almost like the forest now. So, but I wanted the medium because I wanted something I could travel with and use the strap with. I'll grab the strap. Okay, so here's the strap that this bag comes with. It's the nice, thick, wide, pretty wide strap. Um, goes with this bag. And it's great. It's gonna be super comfortable with my laptop whenever I fly and travel. Um, and then here at the top, it does have the zipper, which is perfect. It has silver hardware and it's so shiny. It's so gorge. And then on the inside, you guys, I have all my stuff. I'm using this as my daily carry. Um, I really, really enjoy kind of just leaving it open and not using the shoulder strap. So this way, like it um, just carries on the crook of my arm and it looks fabulous. I really love it. Um, I also just like to grab it like this and carry it around. I am considering using like my, um, I think like a Neverfull MM, a Neverfull MM organizer would work really well in this or possibly even the Speedy 30 organizer. Um, but the good thing is, is this does have pockets on the inside. I have like in one pocket, I have my gum, and then in the other pocket, I have my hand sanitizer. So those fit like absolutely perfectly. There's also another pocket right there on the inside. That's a zipper pocket. I don't have anything in it, but but no, this does fit my 13 inch MacBook in it. And it's gorgeous. I, I really find it cool. I have zero clue what these numbers and letters mean here on this, like, it's almost like a ribbon. Um, if anybody knows what that means, comment down below. And then here on the back, it just has, you know, the Marc Jacobs style, the tote bag, location NYC, 1984. But, oh my gosh, you guys, I am just obsessed. I felt like after I had got my Naomi crafted bag, my Hermes garden party, and I'm gonna show it to you. I was using that as my daily bag, and I thought, you know what, if I got this medium one, I could totally wear this as a daily carry also. So I wasn't too afraid of carrying such a big bag. And personally, I think big bags are chic. Like, <sighs> tiny bags are small. Or, Compact bags are good too, but big bags are chic. I'm five foot eight and a half, so having a bigger bag kind of works best with my body too. Um, let me show you my Naomi crafted bag too, and I'm gonna hold it up to this. Okay, here's my gorgeous Naomi crafted um, Hermes garden party inspired bag. And then here's this bag. So they're very similar in size. And what fun spring summer bags. Like, so obsessed. And lately I've just been super digging like the open tote style. Seeing everything at a glance and just, you know, carrying by crook of arm. I got this little rodeo off Amazon. You guys, if you ever do get one of her bags, they sell these for like $8 on Amazon. And it's just so fun. Like, I think they had like a five pack also for like $25. So, um, but super fun. Head over to Naomi Crafted if you're interested in one of these bags. But yes. Okay. So let me show you real quick. I wanted to show you the Louis Vuitton monogram print next to this like isn't that so perfect like so gorgeous I just find it I don't know it just complements one another so 
Mark Jacobs is taking all my money. I am just really, really kind of loving Mark Jacobs. Um, there is one bag that I have resisted buying because I just bought a new iPhone. So I'm like trying not to spend so much money. The little duffel. It's like this little round duffel, two little top handles. It's on if chick also for like 200 bucks, but I'm really trying to be good. I'm really trying to not spend so much. And that was gonna kind of like bring me into this next little segment of this video, you guys. So I know I just bought these two bags. I've sold some coach bags to, you know, buy these bags. I don't even really have to do that. I just don't want so many bags, but I'm really trying my best not to shop and buy bags that much anymore. And what I'm trying to do is just not watch so much handbag, handbag content on YouTube. I like supporting my fellow friends on here as much as I can. However, it is a little bit of a triggering, um, just because I then am like, I'm so influenced, you know what I mean? To like buy these bags. So, I'm filling my days with like true crime, court TV, lawn crime <laughs> network, things like that. Um, you know, following the news, like watching other things that are actually a little bit outside of handbag content, just so then it's not all about shopping. It's not all about what do I need next. It's not all about that. It's more just about just researching things you know every every other thing in life that's important you know i like to watch cooking videos i kind of enjoy organization videos sometimes um you know watching videos about you know parenting advice as well since i'm a mom i always love to watch you know the best parenting methods and you know any kind of tips that i can get for that so yeah, just kind of trying to stay clear of so much handbag content. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really like to watch a little bit here and there because it is very, that's kind of like my guilty pleasure. Um, you know, I'm not a big, big shoe person and I don't love to, I mean, I travel some, but it's just to go to Arizona, but it's not like I'm, you know, my other guilty pleasure spending thousands and thousands on trips. I don't do that. So handbags is really kind of like, for me, my little fun outlet, of course, but I just really find that sometimes it can get a little too overwhelming. So therefore you have to bring in other passions and um, other things to just get into. So um, what other things do you try to do to kind of like stop buying so many handbags or stop the shopping so much? Um, to just divert your attention away from thinking about bags so much maybe that's the other thing so that was just the other thing i wanted to talk about so i guess that's basically it for right now um i have been tagged by nurture couture um i'll link him down below but he um, tagged me in the top five most used luxury bags i will do that video um next and as far as more reveals, I don't know what I'm going to do, you know, later on in the year, if I'm going to be buying more bags. I think I'm honestly at a point where I need to do like one in, one out, maybe even two out, one in situation. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I think I might be heading towards right now because I just seriously have so many bags. It's just, I have too many bags. <laughs> We, you know, isn't that kind of like where we're all at? Oh, the other one, the other video I'm gonna do is my significant other, Josh. He is gonna review my bags and show me his top five bags out of my collection and tell me why he likes them, which this is gonna be such fun. And it'll just be neat to hear like what a regular dude thinks about <laughs> bags. Cause he's like, I just don't, know what to say like, and that's okay you know um but i just will um i will do that video as well so okay thank you guys so much for watching take care and have a great rest of your week bye